Dom from Black Toad Studios and tonight we are playing a classic matchup. We have got Commissar Yarrick leading the Astra Militarum against Gazgal Fracker leading the Orc forces. They will be clashing over this abandoned Imperial planet. Yarrick has cornered the beast and now he is having some payback for Armageddon. Is this a trap? We'll find out. So let's have a look at the forces that are playing today. Right, so this is my uh, Imperial Guard force, 1750 points. We've got two battalions. We've got a battalion of Scions over here and Cadians over here. So we're running through the Cadian force. Warlord, of course, is going to be Commissar Yarrick, the old man. We then have a company commander with a plasma pistol and power sword. He also has the Laurels of Command. Sorry, I slipped my mind for a moment. We've got two command squads here and a platoon commander with a bolt pistol. We have five squads of guardsmen. Each squad has one flamer. No heavy weapons in those squads. We've got two special weapon squads with six plasmas. At the back here, we've got a chimera with a heavy bolters and a heavy stubber on the uh, pintle mounted. An engine seer, Trojan support vehicle, two Lehman Russ executioners, or sorry, ex exterminators with heavy bolters. And then over on the Scions, we have got two commanders here, one with a plasma pistol and one with a power fist, a standard commissar with a power sword and a bolt gun, two squads of seven, no special weapons there, and three Torox primes with the Gatlers and autocannons. So that's my 1750 points. In total, we've got 13 command points. Let's see what the Orcs are bringing. Right, so here we are, we've got Aaron, 1750 points of Orcs. We've got three different attachments from three different uh, clans. So over on the right here, we have got an, uh, a goth element, of course, led by Fracker there. We'll go through them in detail in a moment. We've got some snake bites here, the uh, outrider detachment there, the two squads of bikes there, and some uh, tracks over there. And of course, we have got the uh, blood axes at the back there, Vanguard detachment. And right, so let's get started over on the right with the Goths. So we've got a squad of Goth boys here and uh, Orc knob there with a power claw. Uh, and that was the only special weapon there. We of course got Fracker. We've got a pain boy down here. We have got a weird boy there. And we have got, is that a war boss there did you say? Yeah. War boss there. Right, we'll go for the war gear as it pops up. But there's a lot of war gear for these guys. A lot of command points that's been spent to upgrade them. Uh, we've got two squads of grots at the back there. And we've got a lovely, lovely battle wagon here. It's the old Forge World one. It's, it's a beautiful thing to see on the battlefield here. Death roller on it as well? Yeah, uh, yeah. that's literally the only weapon it's got. <laughs> the only weapon is a death roller. That's all goths need is a death roller. That's all we got there. Uh, moving over, we have got the Blood Axes here. We have got some, uh, is that Burner Boys there? Uh, two units of Commandos. Oh, Commandos, yeah. Two units of Commandos at the back here with a couple of Burners in there. Uh, we have got some Tank Busters here. Um, really cool conversion on the knob there who's got a like a very, a very cool gas mask and a couple of squigs in there. Uh, we've got a truck at the back here. Uh, it's more of a half track. Uh, the blood axes over on this side, more a fiend for uh, like your trench warfare uh, guys there. And at the leading them is uh, a weird boy. Uh, he's a big mech. Oh, big mech. Sorry, <laughs> big mech. Yep. No. Yep. I'll see. I got confused earlier because the old shaman model. Very cool conversion there. And at the front, we have got the snake bites. Uh, my personal favourite in this force. They look absolutely epic. Uh, he's done a really good job converting these guys. So we have got two squads of six yeah. bikes here. Very cool. We have got buggies. Uh, they're war, tra war tracks. War tracks. Uh, two inches less movement, one more wound. Well, there we go. And they just look brilliant. And at the front here, we have got uh, the what? Death Killer War Trike. Death Killer War Trike. How can you forget a name like that? And each one of the commanders for each detachment. Um, these have both been upgraded to Warlords with some command points there. And uh, how many command points we've got left? Five. Five left. So a lot has been spent to give these guys a bit of extra war gear. 
and a bit more survivability on the battlefield. Now these are like a very epic force here. Um, and what was the ability over here? So we've got the thinking cap on the Big Mac. Yeah, which uh, is is a blood axe only item, and it gives you uh, basically lets you take a warlord trait for some for a character who's not a warlord. Well, there we go. We got one there. So he's taken that. And he's taken the uh, the warlord trait, uh, cunning but brutal. Oh, very nice. And over here with this guy here, what what's the war gear item we've been given? Uh, he has the lucky stick, which um, gives him a little aura ability, which is uh, orc goth characters within six inches of him uh, get plus one to hit. Nice. And uh, lets himself re-roll to hits. Brilliant. Yep. So. Of course, uh, Fracker keeping uh, keeping those uh, of use close to him there. Right, okay, so that's the force here. Let's have a look at the mission and deployment. Right, okay, so both forces are now deployed. Uh, we're playing the Beachhead mission from the Chapter Approved 2018. So in this mission, there are three objective markers. One down here in the Orc deployment. Across the field in the centre, we have one in this ruin here. And finally, moving along down here in the Imperial Guard deployment, we've got one there. So for the uh, it works that at the beginning of the second turn and onwards, you get one victory point. Well, I would get one victory point if I held this objective. Two victory points if I held the centre as well. And three for the one in the York deployment there. So it encourages both forces to push forward, take the middle and push for the enemy objective as well. So if we start over here with the Imperial Guard deployment, we've got three Toroxes here, each of which has a squad of Scions. These two here have the commanders in, this one here has got the Commissar. We've got the thin green line of Guardsmen all along here. We have a couple of tanks in there, not far from the centre. They're going to be pushing up once they've laid down a bit of fire and hopefully taking the centre there. The Commissar is in the centre between these two Lehman Russes. Engines here at the back there. Trojan support vehicle and a command squad back here with the Chimera kind of holding onto this objective. Over on this flank we've got a command squad there and a junior officer. Over here we've got the uh, company commander and then over there we have got the command squad there. So everything is on the field for the Imperial Guard, ready to push forwards and take the field from the filthy, filthy greenskins. On the other side of the battlefield, however, we have got the Goth battle wagon here. We have got Fracker, his uh, entourage of characters in there and a squad of boys in the battle wagon. Squad of Grotz hidden behind this ruined uh, Lehman Russ. Tank Busters in the half track here in the truck. Another squad of Grotz here holding on to the uh, Orc objective. And over on the right here, we have got the uh, Snake Bites, the bikes, and the Warlord there. Get a field down the field there, down this lovely paved road. In reserve, we've got the War Tracks and the Tank uh, and the. Uh, did it at commandos so at the moment the guard will be going first as we deployed first unless of course the orcs can seize on a six don't seize no there we go right so we're moving on to turn one for the imperial guard right turn one movement for the imperial guard so over on this right flank here the squads have pushed up towards the centre here, towards this objective. We need to try and claim that quite quickly before the Orcs swarm the uh, ruined complex here. Over on the left, these two guard squads have moved up to take position. Torox Primes are just rolling up the road slightly, targeting the Orcs over here, looking against those ball boys, uh, the walk bike, sorry, and uh, seeing what they can do against them. Uh, everyone else on the back has pretty much stayed still. Torox Prime is using its ability on this Lehman Russ here, so it can re-roll misses. Although, of course, we've got Yarrick here, so we've got a bubble of re-rolling anyway against the filthy, filthy green skins. So we're going to move on to shooting to see what we can do against the Orcs. 
Right, okay, so as the orcs are generally out of range at the moment for most of the stuff here, and the Lasgans aren't really going to do much against the orc armor, we're issuing Bring It Down from this commander here onto the command squad here, because we've got a line of sight down the field there into tank busters here. So we will be re-rolling ones to hit and re-rolling ones to wound. Let's see what we can do. Right, so force to hit, re-rolling ones. Right, so two hit. Toughness six, strength five. So we need fives, re-rolling ones. And no, nothing. Oh dear, oh dear. Right, okay. Let's move on to the tanks and hopefully they can do something. So first up here, we've got this exterminator. It's going to fire everything it has across the ruins here towards the, uh, the goth. Um, battle wagon here. So we've got in advance, we've got eight shots from the auto cannons, and we're re rolling all the misses because of Yarrick. So I think on fours. Okay, let's take a re roll these. That's half so far, just over half hit. And we need fours to wound because it's toughness seven, strength seven. Okay, so two. Uh, not great. Um, so two saves, please, of minus one, and they will do two damage each. Okay, uh, he's, he's only got a four-up armor save. Okay, so it's a five. No, so it takes two damage from the, uh, the auto cannons there. Next up, we're going to fire the heavy bolters as well. Hopefully they can do something. So hit on fours, re-rolling misses. Okay, so uh, that's seven. And um, five's to wound. Uh, so that is three saves, please, with a minus one once again, but only one damage. Oh, right, nice, very nice. So one more wound there. Right, okay, so we've got a bit more shooting. So let's see if we can do any more damage. Right, so at the end of turn one shooting, the guard will find it quite hard for targets at this point. So the other Lehman Russ also opened fire over here, doing a bit more damage onto this battle wagon there. And then finally over here, the uh, Scions opened fire. All three Torox Primes fired into this uh, biker squad, taking three of them out. Um, so hopefully another one might fall in the uh, morale phase. So if we move on to the morale phase, because we've got no more combat now. So uh, do you wish to roll a leadership for your Orkies? So, right. Uh, one dice. Oh, is it just one? Yeah. yeah sorry. That's right. One yeah. dice. So three, okay, so just, yeah, just about past that one. Okay, so we're gonna, we're, yeah, just about. So we're gonna move in now to turn one for the Orcs. Turn one movement for Orcs. So it's battle wagon still rolling forwards here. It's moving up, death roller getting ready to maybe uh, try and crush some guardsmen as it gets closer to the conflict that is going to be erupting in the center. Moving over on the right hand side, the snake butts are moving up against the scions here. They're going to have a little uh, bit of shooty and then a bit of uh, choppy. But um, let's move into turn one for the orcs. Right, so so far the Death Killer War Trike has fired in here, unable to do anything. These bikes have fired in, taking two wounds off of that Torox, but the larger squad of bikes here are gonna be firing the death guns into this Torox here, hoping to do a bit of damage. Um, so let's have a look. Do you wanna roll some dice? So hang on sixes, because they're all advanced. Oh dear, oh dear. Nothing. No, but I'm sure the Orcs will make up for it in uh, some other way. So let's have a look, see what else Orcs have done in the shooting phase. So the only other shooting that actually could have done something um, was the tank busters here, fired a rocket into the wounded Torox there, uh, hit um, with Daka Daka, got another hit, but unfortunately both of those hits didn't convert to anything and they just bounced off the Torox armor there. So we're gonna move on to Orky turn one assault and see if the snake bites can do anything. Turn one assault for the orcs and the snake bites. Uh, I played the monster hunter ability onto a Torox to add one to their wound rolls, and they're going against one of the Toroxes there on the left. So everything charged in. Uh, we're able to do three wounds on to the war boss here, 
Uh, we did nothing really to anyone else. Uh, we did play defensive gunners in a desperate attempt, but they are pretty hard, these guys, and they pretty much shrugged off everything that came their way. So we're gonna move in and uh, see if they're able to do anything to the Toroxes. I think they probably will though. Right, okay, so at the end of turn one assault here, uh, this squad did nothing against this Torox here. Uh, and this squad did a bit of damage onto this Torox, but everything came from this guy here. He had three attacks, um, he was hitting on twos, wounding on twos, and this Torox, not a chance. Um, so it got destroyed, one of the guys got killed, um, and a couple more wounds, three more wounds ha got put over to this one from two extra attack, well, two attacks here, did three wounds onto this Torox. So pretty good going for the Orcs. I got first blood there, killing off on the Torox Primes. Uh, and we're gonna move into turn two for the Imperial Guard. Right, turn two for the Imperial Guard. So both the Toroxes here are pulled out. Um, this one here unloaded its cargo, so it's got a Scions there with the Commander. This squad have remained stationary. All these guys have remained stationary, having a bit of the reroll. Um, this commander's moved up as well to put some orders in here onto this squad. Uh, Yarrick is pushing up as well to, with the aid of this special weapons squad, hopefully to kind of aid these other squads in dealing with this orc menace that's going to rip through this flank if we don't do anything about it now. Over in the centre, two squads of guardsmen are going in for this objective. Unfortunately, we didn't hold it at the beginning of the turn, so we've only scored one point because we've held this one back here. Um, over here as well, we've got this Trojan support vehicle has put its ability on to this exterminator because Yarrick is now out of range for his rerolls, so he's now able to reroll all uh, misses from the Trojan. And this Lehman Russ main stationary holding the center, kind of thinking where it's going to put its firepower, possibly down over here or across into the battle wagon, which is of course a looming threat as Fracker is just sitting happily on board there. So I'm gonna move into um, shooting turn two and uh, see what the guard commanders are gonna be doing order wise. Right, so beginning of turn two shooting here, we've got first rank, second rank going on at these uh, scions here from the commander. First rank, second rank onto this Guardsman squad here. And Yarrick, of course, is doing the same on to this squad here. Um, so we've got a lot of first rank, second ranks. They need to do something about these Orcs, even if they're just a half their numbers, we need to do something. And on my target, onto these guys here. So re-rolling ones to wound um, for the Heavy Bolter team. Right, so let's move into shooting and hopefully we can kill some Orcs. Coming into turn two shooting. Um, so far, we've had some Scion damage coming in here. Um, Laz guns as well, hotshots coming in here. So all the, the Scions are fired in there, reducing the big guy down to two wounds here. Um, the Guardsman squad here and here put in a lot of fire with their orders and uh, destroyed this biker squad here. So it comes down over here to this special weapon squad of three plasmas next to Yarrick. So re-rolling misses. Uh, we're out of rapid fire range. Um, there, so we're gonna overcharge. We are gonna be hitting on fours, re-rolling. Don't need re-roll, look at that. All have hit, so we are now wounding on threes because of strength eight. Uh, so it's two, two, and right. So two saves, please, sir. So he's got a five up invulnerable for taking the uh, special yep. cult of speed war trike. So one pass, one fail. Now we've got the snake bite, but it's just two damage. So if we... Uh, I need two. Two, here we go. I need uh, at two. least one of these Whoa. to be a six. Do not get one. No. no. So he has fallen. He got one final volley of shots came in and have dealt a killing blow there. Um, that's right. So let's move on to the rest of the shooting phase. Right, so the end of turn two shooting for the guard. So as we saw... The orcs are taking heavy casualties so far here. The Trojan and the Chimera both fired in here doing three wounds, killing off one more bike and doing one more wound there. Over here, you see the trucks taking quite a bit of damage. Seven wounds were inflicted as the Lehman Russ down here sighted 
the, the threat, tank busters, of course, a big threat to armor and fired everything through the ruins uh, into the side of the truck, causing a bit of chaos, hopefully, in the orc ranks there. And down here, this Russ fired in to the battle wagon over here, joined in by the command squad back here. These guys also fired, coming in here and doing 10 wounds in total now to the battle wagons, slightly slowing it down. Of course, it's still a major threat. There are a lot of orcs on board there. Uh, we may need to focus next time into them. Uh, and we have got no assault. So we are gonna move over now to turn two for the orcs. Turn to movement for the orcs. So over here, these commandos have crept on near the command squad here. The battle wagon rolling forwards very close to this guardsman squad here with the death roller. Another squad of commandos have popped up over here among the ruins here, getting some shots in at the guardsmen among the ruins. Down here, we've got tank buses have disembarked from their truck and now pouring into the ruins as well to try and take the center. Moving across the battlefield. It's looking pretty good. There's orcs popping up everywhere now. So we're moving across. A truck down here, Big Mac trying to encourage a bit of uh, repair work on there. Down here, ball boys here, or the war bikers, however you want to put them. I still remain stationary, they haven't really got to go anywhere, there's charging uh, targets all around. And down here as well, the tracks are here, getting ready to fire some shots in to the Toroxes, possibly uh, do a charge, but we will see. Battlefield, as you can see, they're looking pretty epic here. We've got models everywhere, lots of carnage about to unfold. So let's move in to turn two shooting for the orcs. Right, okay, so this biker squad here are going to be firing in the DACA shots into the Scions. I'm going to play uh, take cover, so it's plus one to my armor save. So it kind of negates the, uh, the ever shooters or the DACA gun modifier there. So let's roll some dice. Right, okay, so we're hitting on fives. And uh, let's see what we've got there. Only four. Only four, right, okay. So uh, strength five. Yep. Okay, so three swooned. So three have got through there. And so we've got four up save. Thanks, uh, take. You should have a three up. Uh, my guns don't have a modifier. Oh, well, well, there you go. Three up then, rather than four up. And still, that's not good enough. One has fallen to the orcs. Right, okay. And let's see what else the orcies can do. So in the centre here, these tank buses are pushed up. They're going to throw some grenades. And, uh, yeah, extra stick bombs was used. Rolled up. 34 stick bombs coming in to uh, this slot here. So, right, let's see what they can do. So, fives to hit. Goodness, that's a lot there. Right, let's add these up and come back with the wounds. Ten have hit. So, here we go. So forced wound. Uh, right, so what's that? Six, seven, eight, is that? Eight? Right. Okay, let's see if we can save any of these. Right, so here we go. We've got some saves coming in here. Five ups. See how many guardsmen survive. That is not necessarily a good thing. Um, so we have just lost six guardsmen from that squad in the center. Ouch. Okay, so here we come in here with a Mega Blaster and Gasgo are going to be firing their shots into this command squad here. Right, okay. So first, my regular war boss is a custom shooter. Is yep, also four. a custom shooter, yep. So only one hit, but yep. daka daka daka. No. Right, so one hit. String five? Uh, four. Four, okay, so freeze. Right, okay, any AP? Uh, nope. Oh dear, so one guardsman has fallen. And on to Mr. Fracker. Yep. So he brought two big shooters because why wouldn't you if you could carry them? Yep. Right. Okay. Only one hit. One hit. So, uh, so strength so, five. Yep. Toughness three. So three to wound. Right. Okay. And here we go from a save. Oh, 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 no, dead. <laughs> and the other last gun has died in the command squad there. Okay, so uh, remaining shooting, the commandos fired a couple of shots into the squad here. Um, didn't want to fire the rest of the goths in here because, of course, they want to try to charge in and squish some uh, poor guardsmen there. 
Couple more shots came in here, a bit of daka daka, but they weren't able to do anything to this heavy bolter here. And that is it. So a fair bit of stuff coming in from the Orcs there. Um, but as we all know, the main bit of damage is gonna come in from Assault any moment now. So let's move into turn two, Assault for the Orcs. Right, so the end of turn two, Assault. And over here, the Orcs have come in. Uh, ripping apart all the guardsmen holding there. Although one guardsman does remain holding up against the battle wagon. Um, I'm not sure how long he's going to last, but he did do a... Uh, so we paid a couple of command points to keep him in the battle there. Down here, another charge was attempted. Um, one orc was killed to overwatch. Another one then failed in the morale phase. And finally, over here... Bikers charged in, killing off two of the Scions. The Scions fought back, killing off one of the bikers there. So they're kind of holding on for now. Not sure they're going to last for long. And over here as well, a bit of a fight coming in. Bit of damage to Overwatch. Two wounds are taken by one of the tracks there. And uh, they didn't really do anything here. So that's it for turn two for the Orcs. Going to move in to turn three for the Guard. Although we have lost the centre objective, we're still holding our own back here it just means we're going to have to clean some green skins off the center all right turn free movement for the imperial guard all right so starting over here with this junior officer here stood in the middle of the road ready to block off any battle wagon advance with his life back here this russ has moved ever so slightly just to get into the uh, aura ability of yarrick here these plasma squads both had moved up, getting ready to put some fire in over here on the war tracks or possibly the bikers. The infantry squad of Scions has pushed back out of combat, maybe waiting for an order here to uh, get them back in the fight, possibly. These squads remained uh, stationary. Commissar here has moved up, getting ready for a counter charge if necessary in there. Torox here has fled and moving across the field to uh, try and do something. Down here, squad of guardsmen moving up through the ruins to face off against the tank busters. The squad here is also going in to assist them. So we need to try and counter the orc threat. The orcs are pushing in from every side here and we have to make sure that it's dealt with as required. So we're going to move in now, turn three shooting and see if we can kill some greenskins. Right, so turn three shooting. Um, so over here, uh, we fired everything we had stormtrooper wise uh, into the orc bikes there. And loads of stuff fired in. Um, we had like heavy bolter shots, plasma shots coming in. Took everything, um, this orc knob, and he's still standing. One wound. This commissar here is going to be able to go in and hopefully deal with him. Some more plasma shots came in from down here, as well as some heavy bolters from the Chimera, um, and took out all but one of the walk war tracks there down here we had guardsmen fire coming in from this squad here into the tank busters this squad here also fired into the tank busters with assistance from the russes taking the tank busters down to one knob there the heavy bolters from the russes have been firing into these commandos and taking most of them out there's still two uh, burners there which is quite intimidating um but they are happily still sitting down here Heavy Bolter came in, reduced his squad down to one. This, this team here have done really well for themselves. And that is pretty much it for the shooting for the guard. So we're going to move in to actually assault turn three. We're going to try and get these two squads into combat with this orc knob. Um, as we all know, a cornered knob is uh, a dangerous knob. And we're going to try and deal with him. And over here, we've got the Commissar. He's going to be charging in there and taking a scalp for the guardsmen. Turn three assault. Uh, so at the end of that, the commissar killed off the uh, the knob biker there, uh, quite heroically. I did use a reroll though for the hits. Uh, over here, the both squads charged in, um, didn't do anything to the orc knob, but uh, during morale phase, of course he faded away and fell um, in the morale phase. Also, two commandos there, they went, and down here, the remaining burner boy for the commando squad went, and down here, the war track actually fled as well, losing two of his number in the shooting phase, 
um, he has fallen back. I'd say the end of that turn, um, the Orcs have taken a heavy hit, but it's far from over. Fracker and his entourage are now in the guard lines here. They're going to be disembarking and causing all manner of mayhem over on this flank here. So let's move into turn three for the Orcs. Turn three movement for the Orcs. So as we've seen, they've all disembarked now. We've got the pain boy, the weird boy, and fracker have disembarked over here, heading towards the tanks. And the other war boss is down here. Possibly a little bit worried about this heavy Bolton that's kind of hacked through walks. On the other side of the battle wagon, the squad of boys are going for the center objective. Two squads of guardsmen there pose a bit of a threat. Battle wagon remains stationary, revving up, intimidating the officer down there. Across the backfield here, the truck has uh, been slightly repaired and I was facing off against a Torox Prime there. And uh, that could be quite an interesting fight. So yeah, the Orcs are back in force. We thought we killed a lot of them and a lot more turn up as Orcs do. So we're gonna move into uh, Psychic and Shooting, turn three for Orcs. Right, so the end of turn three, Psychic and Shooting for the Orcs. So down here, um, we had Fist of Gork cast upon this um, Warlord here. The Warlord also fired his custom shooter into this heavy weapons team and obliterated them. Uh, we tried to smite as well. Smite went off, um, did one wound there. Uh, he did suffer two wounds himself there. Uh, down here, another lot of stick bombs got thrown over. I think 40 in total. One guardsman did got killed. Um, which is a bit of a shame. Rumour is he tripped and broke his neck and trying to get to cover. Uh, and a couple of sluggers fired as well, killing off a few more of the guardsmen there. But that was it really for shooting. Uh, I'll do the heavy shooter back here against the Torox, just kind of missed it somehow. Uh, and that was it. So we're going to move into Assault. And this is where it's going to get messy. So turn three, Assault for Orcs coming right up. At the end of turn three for Orcs, it's only assault phase here. The war boss here and the uh, weird boy charged in here, taking this rust down to five wounds, from full health down to five wounds. Horrible stuff. Uh, rust is just about coping. Here, Fracker and the pain boy charged in here, taking this rust down to one wound. So a lot of damage was dealt out. The amount of attacks and damage this thing these guys can do is horrible. And the rust is just about holding on. Smoke is pouring out everywhere. And the crew are getting ready to bail out. Over in centre, however, different story. So the Orcs charged in and rolled a double six for both the Flamers overwatching and killed off nine Orcs. Uh, last guns pit patted, killed maybe one other, but generally they all charged in. Uh, guardsmen did quite well, um, killed most of them off. We did lose 10 Guardsmen in total. Uh, had to uh, spend a couple of command points to keep these guys in the game. These ones are just holding on just about. Over here, however, a bit of damage was done to the truck as it came in through Overwatch, but once again, nothing really happened over there. Uh, vehicle on vehicle combat, um, unless I got a power claw, it's not really gonna be that exciting. We're just ramming against each other. Um, and that was it. Oh, oh, yep, yeah, sorry, down here, the uh, junior officer, yeah, surprise, surprise, is now uh, smeared across this uh, uh, roller here. So that was it. We're gonna move into turn four for the Imperial Guard and hopefully they're able to do something about this before they work their way to the old man. Turn for movement for the Imperial Guard. So we've actually captured the center one now. We're just in range with that flamer guy. So we've actually caught that one there. Um, and we've still got our one back here as well. So that's kind of put the guard slightly in the lead at the moment, although it's all to play for down here. We've got a big retinue of nasty orcs down here. Yarrick is gonna uh, face off against his enemy, possibly. <laughs> we'll see how the rest of the firing does before we charge him in. Um, so everyone's turned around here, picking the fire in against the orc threat here. This Russ is backed out of combat with Fracker and the pain boy. This one remains in combat, although the engine seer has repaired three wounds onto this one, so it's back onto eight. Um, across the field, so these guys are remaining stationary. The commissar down there is moving up to face his truck. Torox Prime is just trying to get through and uh, see what he can do. So that's it for the movement. We're gonna move into shooting and hopefully we can do some damage here. Fingers crossed.
Right, so the end of turn four shooting for the guard. So across here, plasma guns reined in, um, hot shots reined in. Um, but first off, this guardsman squad fired in, killing off the pain boy, this, this flamer, I think you're doing like four wounds, I think, and just the other lads guns completely destroying him. Um, so Yarrick led the shooting on Fracker. The Fracker is the, the Fracker. Fracker is down to two wounds now. Um, we're going to try and attempt assault in a moment. It's the only way Yarrick was ever going to win and he's going to charge in in a moment and deal with Fracker. Down here, the Torox Prime fired everything it had over into the truck, destroying the truck um, and leaving the Commissar open now towards um, the mech boy there. Maybe an optimistic charge. Um, but we're going to move into turn four assault for the guard. Right, so Yarrick has charged in. He's done his attacks and he's removed the last two wounds of Fracker. Orcs, they're now playing Orcs and Never Beat. So they get a round of combat against Yarrick. Um, although Yarrick did suffer one wound to Overwatch as he charged in. Um, so let's see if uh, Fracker can kill the old man. Um, I personally don't think he can, but let's find out. Right, okay, so six attacks coming in from uh, Fracker now. Uh, oh, jeez, all hit, twos to wound. Okay, so that's five wounds there. Yarrick has a four up and vulnerable save, but I'll do these individually. How much wound, how much damage does Fracker do with each? Three. Oof, right, okay. So. Uh, it might be two. I will double check. Okay, so. We'll find out first. It is three. It is three. Right, okay. So I'm going to do these um, one at a time. Uh, so he's got four up in vulnerable save. And when he loses his last wound, which will be his last wound, on a four up, he's absolutely fine. Okay, so. Here we go. We're ready, we're ready. So, first one. No, four up. Oh no, it might be anti-climatic. No, I'm gonna use a command point, re-roll that. No, he's dead as well. Double warlord kill. So Fracker has killed Yarrick. Yarrick has killed Fracker. The legend is over for both parties here. Right, so that was it for the end of turn four for guard. We're gonna move in now to turn four for the orcs. So I might have got a little bit carried away with Yarrick getting killed by Fracker and Fracker being killed by Yarrick because we had this combat down here as well. Uh, and unfortunately, the Lehman Russ um, did get destroyed. Right, so beginning of turn four for the Orcs. Uh, the score one point for holding the objective still with the Grots at the back. Um, this mech boy is coming through here. Big mech, sorry, is coming through the ruins here towards the Guardsmen. Down here, the battle wagons push forward once again towards the guard here, um, the war boss and um, the uh, weird boy. Um, I kind of moved up. Weird boy looks like he's going into Trojan. War boss, I'm not too sure what he wants to do. Maybe against his uh, engines here. Maybe charge in against a tank or the guardsmen. We'll find out. So let's move in to turn four, psyching and shooting for orcs. Right, so end of turn four, psychic and shooting. Uh, well, I'll give a little spoiler, no shooting really occurred. Um, but the chump was cast and the war boss went flying through the warp or whatever orcs use, maybe the warp, uh, and landed here. Uh, the uh, war boss then fired his um, custom saga in there, or custom shooter, didn't do anything there. But he's kind of blocking away for the Torox, protecting the grots, as all good war bosses do. Uh, it did cast Smite, um, the Lehman Russ was close, uh, blew up the Lehman Russ, uh, unfortunately Lehman Russ didn't explode and kill him, but there you go. Uh, and that is it really, uh, although the Big Mech did try and shoot into this Guardsman squad, he didn't do anything. So we're going to move in to Assault, turn four for Orcs. Right, end of turn four, Assault for the Orcs, Weird Boy charged into the engines here, doing five wounds, completely destroying little cog boy. Um, bits lay around, strewn across the battlefield. Over here, the battle wagon charged in, crushing another guardsman, um, which was a, a tragedy, unfortunately. And down across here, uh, and another attempted charge, although Overwatch didn't do anything. Um, the war boss still remains there. Um, Aaron has decided at the end of that that um, he's going to call it a day. The Orcs 
have taken a pretty nasty beating, but also they have killed a lot in return. Both the Russes are dead. Uh, most of the standard guardsmen have fallen. Yarrick, unfortunately, uh, has fallen as well. Uh, a fair few scions have fallen. Um, not great. Um, however, the orcs don't necessarily have much left. A bruised battle wagon, a couple of bruised characters, um, a lot of grots still in this backfield here behind this tank and across here as well, holding the objective away from those parts there. Um, so models of the match for myself. Um, it will probably be, in all honesty, these two guardsmen squads with the flamers, they somehow have um, done exceedingly well. This one in particular um, probably has put a lot of shots out. I think probably uh, close to 16, over 16 shots, I think, has, have come out from that flamer. And it's definitely done a lot. Uh, Aaron, do you have a model of the match? Um, that battle wagon's taken a lot of damage and still just driven around especially since i didn't even buy a gun for it yeah so the gunless battle wagon has just absorbed fire and somehow is still rolling around the battlefield such an impressive model compared to the the, uh, the newer ones so much wider and uh, like what, uh myself and aaron have been saying it's, it's the model where you had to try and get as many orcs as possible and it quite happily sat fracker and his retinue and the boys plenty of room for them to move around um but yeah, fantastic game. Uh, I've had great fun. I hope you guys have enjoyed watching it. It's been fun playing. Um, if you haven't already, um, give us a little uh, subscription, uh, like, and a comment below always help. Thank you very much for watching. Uh, this is Dom from Black Toast Studios, and I'll see you next time. Take care.